Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, it's a pal-off press with a cable and this one is a little bit higher so you can consider it a high cable pal-off press, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cable, we're going to pull it close to ourselves right here and then we're going to kind of step out with it, okay? So now all the way out there with it, okay? We're going to create a split squat kind of stance, okay? And with that, the opposite side of the pressing side is what's going to be forward, okay? So try and get nice and straight, get contracted, contract the glute, contract the core. You can take your hand and hold it here if you want to make sure that you're really contracting this part because what's going to happen here is as we press it and it's going to, when we bring it back, it's going to want to pull you back like that, okay? And we don't want that. What we want is just a straight press, back, press, back. Okay, and we're not getting any of this. This is not what we want. Okay, you're gonna be all over the place. And you can actually get a good exercise workout down here in your core area just from doing this, okay? Your oblique area kind of gets a good um, resistance training effect from it, okay? So let me show you a few of them. So hand there if you want. I'm really making sure to squeeze my uh, chest right here you get a nice good workout from that as well okay and i'm only going about parallel maybe a little bit further back but not too far my arms aren't tucked in too much they have a good amount a good degree of opening right here so i can really get a good kind of almost like you're doing a uh, a dumbbell bench press okay then we're going to get it close to us switch off like that keep it close open up can't see it as well, just do one or two of these, but the same exact thing happens every single time. Breathe in, contract, don't let it pull you. Cable's getting a little wacky there. If you're working out at the gym, you probably have a regular cable machine, so that'll be a lot less likely to happen. But one of the things that I like to do this for is, it's a good after a main chest exercise or a pressing exercise of some sort. You can get a lot of blood flowing both to here and to here, and even a little bit to your glute from the stabilizations that's, a, that's occurring down here by contracting and holding that split squat stance, okay? So try it out, let me know if you like it. Um, I think it's a great pressing exercise you can get. If somebody has elbows with their issue, or if they have elbows where they can't get a lot of direct ab working going on, this is a good one where you can start getting some of that going on just from the anti-rotation movement and stabilizing from that, not allowing that to occur, okay? So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing more, and have a great day.